Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Monday night edition of Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be recapping the weekend video, which was the trading strategy for the week. If you watched the weekend video, congrats, you banked today on Monday. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinions meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. Remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also hit the red subscribe button and little notification bell to be notified when we go live with the new video. Also remember guys, I told you this weekend that I was going to do a makeup for uh, Thursday's NASDAQ penny stock alert. I have found a new penny stock. This is a NASDAQ biotech penny stock trading under 60 cents that looks prime for a major breakout. Click the link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Sign up with your email and your mobile. Mobile is the fastest way to get our alert. We will release it before the opening bell. You can the, Our tech service works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero. It will not work. And after you sign up, you will get a welcome email which includes a link to download the free the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks. Our ebook, our email, and our text messaging service are all free services from InsiderFinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. Well, with that out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. Uh, first things. I told you that I expected the SPY uh, to be choppy. We traded, it was a narrow trading range today. Uh, we traded between 375 and 380. There's just no catalyst right now to move the market. Uh, you got the midterms tomorrow. Most likely, uh, we're going to get a red wave. Uh, GOP takes the House. Senate toss up, but now it's leaning GOP. Uh, but we probably won't know for a few days as to uh, who won uh, the, the election, if, if that is the case. Uh, and I expect some chop. And then Thursday, you have the CPI data, which is the Fed's main gauge uh, for determining inflation and interest rates. But we're already seeing layoffs across the board. Med is getting ready to announce on Wednesday that they will be laying off staff, which is what people, what the markets want. They want Zuck to hold, uh, reduce spending on the metaverse, start using that cash to uh, buy back stock or, or uh, uh and even initiate a dividend like Apple did. Um, but it's nice bounce today. I traded Meta today. I think we're going over 100 this week, especially once we get that uh, news on Wednesday. Uh, overdue for a bounce. Uh, I think the, there's a lot of argument here. Uh, I mean, even if we bounce, uh, you know, we could easily bounce 50%, uh, and that would just put us up around 135. And we got to close this gap here. Uh, you know, if you look at the price range, Meta is down from $353. The company, you know, I, I question his metaverse spending, uh, but it is just a cash cow. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think it's just gotten beaten down, oversold down here. So Meta is, uh, is something I am playing. But uh, in terms of if you look at the price action today, as I told you guys, the way I trade uh, the SPY is with options on the SPY, and then also the leveraged ETFs. Uh, SPXL is the 3x bull for SP for the SPY. SPXS is 3x bear. Uh, t then you have uh, TQQ, which is the long uh, Nasdaq, and then the SQQ, which is the uh, short Nasdaq. And as you can see here, uh, you know this is the price action today. It was just a lot of chop. I did not trade it at all and then you know the last hour the last two hours of trading we got a you know it just drifted higher but not by much um, we'll see what happens tomorrow right now I am not seeing a trade in the uh, uh, SPY or their ETFs 
Um, but a couple of things. So HUDI, I told you guys uh, these China names were on fire last week. But I told you guys, trade it. Do not own it. And they uh, basically rug pulled you today. Uh, if you were in it, uh, they did an offering at 25 bucks. Uh, you know, pre-market and just absolutely tanked it. Uh, guys, these are not holds. You cannot hold these China uh, short squeeze plays because this is what can happen. Uh, I told you guys about the three short squeeze plays. So it started with GTII, uh, and then went to FNGR, and now we are at CRTD. And the guy the, that you have... I have to call out for this is Ham Short Killer. He's been the guy that's been talking about naked shorts. Uh, he's the guy that that uh, was talking about GTII before anyone else, and then moved on to FNGR and CRTD up 48% today. Congrats! Uh, I told you guys in the weekend video that CNNA was a new play uh, and was uh, the next uh, short squeeze play to uh, be in. And uh, congrats if you uh, played it. I mean, it was just a perfect day. Uh, opened at 93 cents, dipped down to 88 cents, ran all the way to $1.45. So it gave you plenty of opportunities today uh, to make money. You go over here and if you look at even the 15 minute range, uh, opening range, I mean, it was just classic. Uh, and it just powered higher throughout the day. So again, uh, if you caught the move in CRTD, uh, congratulations. Another big mover uh, today is CNNNA. Talked about this one uh, in the weekend video. Uh, this one has just a $2 million market cap. Uh, it's an OTCQB and there's a lot happening uh, behind the scenes uh, with uh, CNN. Oh, so CRTD is the QB, uh, CNNA is uh, pink current, but there's a lot happening behind the scenes uh, on uh, Twitter. Uh, you can go to at CNNA uh, underscore or OTC, and they are just putting out updates left and right. Uh, six hours ago, they said working on a debt restructuring and benefit to potentially lower the uh, authorized share count even more after this in the coming weeks as per PR. That's a huge goal of ours and we're actively working to do so. Uh, CNA, as per inquiries, we want to clarify we will only do binding letter of intents or deal closures. Uh, normal LOIs ag agree 100%, uh, which is letter of intents, leave too much room for wasted time in our opinion. I hate when these OTC companies put out an LOI. It's meaningless. It's just a signed document. It's not a, a guarantee. Uh, so again, it's just wasted time. Eight hours ago, uh, the company expects a positive update regarding the majority acquisition of technology, government, military training, and implementation sector tomorrow. So we're going to get that tomorrow on Tuesday. Uh, the company sent the authorized share reduction paperwork out to Rio, uh, Wyoming Secretary of State today. Look for the change in the coming days. Uh, so again, nonstop updates on, uh, on Twitter. And uh, this is what we like to see. And again, this is why the stock is up 50% today. So Congrats if you banked in uh, CNNA today. Uh, GCLT, nice day today. Uh, $3.7 million market cap. Uh, the company has said that uh, uh, having a great day uh, in the markets. Thank you. Testing is ongoing. As soon as we're done, watch for more news, some, news soon. Sorry. So uh, we got more updates coming up 48%. Uh, XCPL talked about this one in the weekend up 20%. PLPP, 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 PLPL, sorry guys, up 13%. Uh, CGRA up 4%. Again, we're just consolidating up here near the highs. Uh, DVLP again consolidating here. Uh, GDVM just been on an incredible one uh, from the double zeros consolidating up here at the highs just waiting for more news. Uh, and WLAN, a uh, little profit taking here, which is expected. It's run from, uh, you know, point, uh, zero, zero 002 all the way to uh, uh, a penny. So, you know, five bagger here in, you know, under a week, uh, you're going to get some profit taking, guys. But the big action uh, today, what a lot of people are talking about, is uh, DWAC, which is the SPAC, which is merging with uh, Trump's Truth Social. Uh, he's 
already he's indicate he's running guys uh he's indicating you know he's running we could get an announcement uh, uh he's even teasing that we might get an announcement tonight uh monday night at the ohio rally for jd vance uh again no one knows for sure we won't i don't even think trump knows he might just announce it in the middle of his uh his speech, uh, we shall see, but it's uh, all the Trump-related uh, SPACs or, or, or companies are getting uh, moving. DWAC, PHUN, uh, Rumble has not gotten uh, the the price action uh, that we thought it would, but it's uh, still closed green today, so we'll see how it uh, plays out. Lastly, uh, two names, uh, ILUS up 16%. Uh, the fanboys are going to be going all excited on Twitter, saying next thing you know it's going to a dollar. Uh, without a doubt, they'll be jerking off tonight. I doubt they're getting laid. Uh, you know, if you look at how the price action has been over the years, oh, I mean over the last year. Uh, but again, hopefully it uh, keeps going higher. And then GWSO had a nice day up 18%. Uh, this one uh, still makes me laugh. Uh, tweet. On October 3rd from uh, Money Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, check out the stock GWSO. They just made a huge announcement, the sodium ion battery for cars that can go 750 miles without a uh, charge is almost complete. This stock will reach all-time highs, huge buying opportunities as this company is going to do very well with this battery being complete. Well, Floyd, uh, were you paid for this? Uh, you know, I, I don't know why uh, you're uh, uh, touting an OTC stock. Uh, October 3rd, he put this out. Uh, stock was at uh, closed at 660, uh, dropped down to uh, four dollars. Uh, we closed at 585. So if you listen to Floyd Money Mayweather when he put that tweet out, uh, you're not, uh, you haven't made any money. Guys, no position here, but uh, you know, I just want you guys to just start being skeptical of things. Don't believe everything you read or see. And even when we send out full reports, it yes, we put in hours on our reports. We send out, you know, but it's just the starting point for you to do your due diligence. You know, always do your own due diligence. Make your own investment decisions. Uh, use stop losses if a trade uh, like Thursday it wasn't working out. Use a tight stop loss, get out, move on to the next play, and uh, you know, I'm gonna make up for that tomorrow. So uh, click the link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Sign up to get tomorrow's Nasdaq Biotech penny stock. It's coming right before the opening bell. This way, you can do your own research and decide if it's right for you. But again, this is our makeup, and uh, we're expecting a major move uh, in this Nasdaq Biotech penny stock tomorrow. So click the link in the description or go to sign up.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. want to wish all uh, subscribers good luck tomorrow in tomorrow's NASDAQ penny stock. Remember to go and vote if you're in the U.S. Uh, as long as you're legal. I know we have a lot of illegals, so don't please, if you're illegal, don't try and vote. Uh, and uh, keep democracy moving and uh, good luck to uh, everyone tomorrow. That being said, I want to wish everyone good night and good luck tomorrow, and I'll be coming live to you after the bell tomorrow with a new video update. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.